Hi folks and welcome back to Travels with Paddles. My name's James and today is our third and final day of paddling the Verdon and we are in the lower gorge. Here's a map of the route and total distance was 12.5 miles. If you haven't already watched days one and two, then I recommend checking them out. Today we're launching from Esparon de Verdon, which is a small village on the shores of the Lac d'Esparon. We're going to paddle up the lower gorge until we reach the Lac de Casson, have lunch there and then paddle back. First, we cross the eastern section of the lake, heading south. Similar to other sections of the Verdon we've paddled, the water is incredibly clear. We launched from the marina at Esparon, but this gravel slipway could be an alternative. Beneath the surface were these incredibly delicate looking plants. And here's the entrance to the lower gorge. The scenery is quite similar to what we had at the end of day one, but that's not too surprising as we've paddled the gorge out of sequence. Day one was the midsection, day two the upper, and day three the lower. This underwater shot gives you an idea of the depth of the gorge beneath the surface. And again, we have warning signs of high flow rates during dam releases. This was an unexpected surprise. It's a refuge for bats. Basically, the Bat Cave. No sign of either Batman or Robin though. Somehow, I get the feeling these are not prehistoric handprints. Somebody certainly had a lot of fun though. About halfway up the gorge you come across this cave which has been walled up. There's clearly an entrance that's been left at the bottom though. No idea what that's all about. If you're interested in walking as well as paddling, there's a prepared pathway that follows the entire length of the gorge, although it does look quite precarious at some points. Nice to see some fellow sea kayakers enjoying the river. Once you see the road bridge, you're almost in the Lac de Quinson. On your left, just after entering the lake, there's a slipway with a picnic table, perfect for lunch. and a great opportunity to break out the drone again.
Here we're looking almost due east towards the Barrage de Casson or the Casson Dam. This is looking back at the road bridge and the lower gorge that we've just paddled. The building to the right of the bridge is actually a restaurant called Shekinu. We came back here later in the evening for dinner and had an excellent meal. The water is so clear and the lake is so shallow that from this altitude you can see every feature on the bottom. back on the water and I saw this little guy swimming along. We're making our way along the Lac de Quinson towards the dam. As expected, there's a line of buoys preventing you from going too close to the bottom of the dam. So, it's time for a bit of a walk. More warning signs showing you just how quickly the water levels can change. And this is as close as I could get to the dam. We're now making our way back towards the road bridge along the opposite shore of the lake. I'll let you enjoy a few of the highlights of the journey back along the gorge. Anyhow, thanks for joining us on our kayaking adventures in the Verdon Gorge. It really is an amazing landscape to paddle in and we can totally recommend it if you haven't done it yet. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe on the water.